safety at West Ham who has got the ability to get forward and progress the ball and get it to those guys like the Fodens and Mounts and, and people like that, you know, then I think that it works. Um, I like the fact that it gets us an extra, an extra forward in there, an extra creative player. But like I say, it's interesting to see how Declan Rice plays in it because it can be the kind of formation where it's, it can be counter-attacking. I think that we've got too many good forwards for us to be playing counter-attacking. We should be really trying to impose ourselves on people. If this, if this is the England going forward this way with four at the back, does that make sense? A bit of a hybrid, what we're talking about. It's not three at the back, which is quite defensive, and it's not 4-3-3, three, three, which could be very adventurous. An England team that possesses what Declan Rice described as gobsmacking talent. Confidence is high in the England camp. Breezing past San Marino, brushing aside Albania. But those are the games that they are supposed to win. And although the players seemed in high spirits, the manager, Gareth Southgate, was... protest against any discrimination. England's last competitive action before Gareth Southgate names his squad for the summer. Uh, the England players have to concentrate. Scored at the weekend, now trying to bring Chilwell into play, does that, and here's a chance, and Phil Foden just couldn't angle his header on target. Brilliant. A bit of trickery, and his centre is easily dealt with by Magi Uribus. Sterling just peeling to the edge of the penalty area. Was there a collision there? Beyond Kupis has said, play on. A Dutch referee. Decent looking cross towards Piontek. It was just over the head of Swiderski from the back post. Mounts come close to Sterling. Sterling's looking for Foden again. Good defending by Bednarek. Lovely ball in though, great angle, checking on that right foot. Foden. Looking for Chilwell to keep going, and he does. And England win their first corner of the game. Yeah, good play. Penalty area, Sterling by the goalkeeper. Onto his city his teammate, Sterling. Still going, oh, he's gone down, that's going to be a penalty. Well, it looked like a rash challenge. There is no and 17. And he's scored in this one too. Harry Kane has now scored more penalties than anyone else for England. And he nudges them in front. Well, you can rely on him. He just waits for Chesney to go. He knows he's going to play straight down the middle. But also... Swiderski. Marzinski. Tried to get the ball back from Swiderski, but Harry Maguire had committed a foul here, now making his dart. It's away by Kane. That's the greatest delivery by... And that was slightly dicey from Nick Pope. Fired that into the penalty area. It's Sterling. Just couldn't get it back to him, Mount. And Mount looks as if... Swiderski. by Helic. Mason Mount would need football from England. And this is Kane with another chance, and Chesney makes a good save. It was really neat football from England, quick. Still going, dancing his way all the way through. Almost came through to Calvin Phillips. It was a really... Chilwell. Mount. Chilwell. Sterling and Harry Kane in the centre. It's Kane, a punch by Chesney. Arriving on the scene was Calvin of European qualifiers. Uh, a little bit unlucky not to be able to continue from there. Foden. Now Matt. Chilwell, is he coming back from an offside position? That's what he's concerned about. And it's been a fertile ground, it's Sterling. Stones by the penalty spot, it's aimed towards Maguire. Drop Berezinski. Beating Berezinski. He's pinballing around off the Polish defenders. 
Okay, Glick just catching him. Sterling, look at Foden. Before he could get his head up, Sterling and the company of Mark Pugac at the break. It's England 1, Poland 0. These two nations are old friends, no other teams have been paired. Now Walker, decent looking cross, there was a bit of a tug on Sterling's jersey, but he probably wasn't going to get up there. With what Ashley said about running without the ball, running beyond the back line to get into those spaces and just stretch Poland back towards their own. Mount, jingling his way into an advanced position, Kamel Glick with a rather agricultural... It is Phil Foden. He's actually peering over to see whether he could sneak it in at the far inside opposition territory. We're in that left fullback position. He needed a better cross than that. Easily bones just trying to deal with the threat being posed on the edge of the penalty area by Piontek. There was quite a lot of towards Piontek and Milik but neither of them could get any problem for England and this is a real chance for an equaliser and it is modest scores for Poland and England have been pinned back by the Poles and John Stones after such a consistent season at City is in focus again Well, it's a disaster, it really is. He's got plenty of time on the ball. We know how well he's been playing, but that little touch there just gets out of his feet, and then he's robbed. From this game, here's Sterling, trying to make sure they don't. A bit good goalkeeping by Wojciech, says who did very... OK. Well, that's a decent cross. The ball. It's Calvin Phillips' delivery. It's headed away strongly by Christoph Biontek. Looking for a cross, headed back towards Milik. Dangerous, very dangerous. I tell you what, that's a big chance. He's got Mount might get hold of this. He's played a part in the recent delivery to the far post. Stones heads it down. Maguire is there, and England are back in front with a thumping goal from Harry Maguire just when they needed it most. It's another late goal for England. John Stones gets the congratulations because of his involvement in the goal and England lead by two goals to one. Well, it's a fantastic finish from the centre-back. Shoots! Wolf loose, who's getting there? It'll be a throw-in. Be a check.